the natural history, your natural evolutionary history is not to have light in the evenings and the night. Um, this brings in another issue about this whole red light factor, which is it really only works very well in the mornings, right? So it doesn't really work in the afternoons. Now, and that's true again, if you're a fly, a mouse, a bee, a human, I think it's critical that you get it in the mornings because when you wake up in your evolutionary history, you've been very vulnerable because you've not been paying attention to anything. So when you wake up in the morning, um, your blood sugars peak, it, whether you've eaten or not, your blood sugars go up, your hormones all change, you become a lot more geared up to running, doing something. Um, in the afternoon, I cannot improve your mitochondria in the afternoon, no matter what I do, how much red light I give them, I cannot improve them. We say in the afternoon, mitochondria are doing something else. We don't know what they're doing. They're doing the washing, they're doing the ironing, they're doing their housework. It's in the mornings and, and you know, they know it's coming. So mitochondria, ATP starts peaking just before when lights are on. So in the animal house. So I think we probably knew when we were in evolving in Africa near the equator, we knew at about seven o'clock in the morning, sun was right, going to be rising and mitochondria changed their behavior. We, we just messed that all up so badly. 